This is how I fight my battles. Yes, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Hello, Wheat Street. It is always an honor and a privilege to come before you to worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, we want to invite all of you to pray and worship with us as we go before the Lord to give God our needs, to give God our desires, to give God our troubles, to stand in the gap for those who are in need of prayer in our community, and to most of all, seek the face of the Father to speak to us in these difficult times. As we move forward in this time of prayer and worship, I want you to meditate on the goodness of God. We know that many of us are grieving many things and going through many difficult spaces, navigating a whole new world, it seems like. But one thing that is constant is that God is with us. And so today, we invite you to lay your issues and your problems, the things that are heavy on your heart, at the altar. And the altar is wherever you are. Wherever you are, the Spirit of the Lord is with you to comfort you and to guide you. And so we pray that we create a space, even if it's virtually, for you to worship, praise, and pray to your heavenly God. And so with that being said, I want to read to you guys a scripture out of Isaiah 44. And I'm going to read verse 1 through 5. And it says, But now listen to me, Jacob, my servant, Israel, my chosen one. The Lord who made you and helps you says, Do not be afraid. O Jacob, my servant, O dear Israel, my chosen one. For I will pour out water to quench your thirst and to irrigate your parched fields. And I will pour out my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your children. They will thrive like watered grass, like willows on a riverbank. Some will proudly claim, I belong to the Lord. Others will say, I am a descendant of Jacob. Some will write the Lord's name on their hands and will take the name of Israel as their own. This is what we speak over you today. God is blessing you. God is keeping you. And most of all, God is loving on you today. Be blessed as we proceed in the service. Hello, Wheat Street Baptist Church family. Let us go before God in prayer. Oh, Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all of the earth. And dear God, before we ask you for anything, we just want to say thank you. Before we make our requests and our petitions made known, dear God, we just come to say thank you. Before we start with our laundry list of issues and our laundry list of requests, dear God, we just come together to say thank you. Thank you for your keeping power. We, we thank you for your sustaining power. And even in this season, God, even in the midst of this particular storm, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for leading us and guiding us through a desert. We thank you for the sunshine and the rain. We thank you for giving us the activity of our limbs. We thank you for giving us seeing in our eyes. We thank you for allowing the blood to warm, run warm in our veins. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for life. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for testimonies, and we thank you for giving us the ability to overcome. Now, O oh God, continue to be with members of this church. Continue to be with individuals that are fighting on the front lines. Continue to place a hedge of protection around the children that are going back to school. 
Continue to be with the teachers. Continue to encourage the essential workers. Dear God, continue to remind them that you will never leave them nor forsake them. And continue to encourage and strengthen our spirits. Allow us to look up to the hills from whence our help comes from. Because we realize, God, when we look up, it's towards you. Now continue to be with us, not only for this moment, not only in the midst of this season of an uncertainty, but God continue to be with us this day and forevermore. Continue to bless us in our now and in our next. Continue, O oh God, to provide, continue to restore. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. Holiness, holiness is what I long for. Holiness is what I need. Holiness, holiness is what you want for me. Righteousness, righteousness is what I long for. Righteousness is what I know I need. Righteousness, righteousness is what you want for me. So take my heart and mold it. Take my mind and transform it. Take my will and conform it to yours. To yours, oh Lord. Brokenness, brokenness is what I long for. Brokenness is what I need. Brokenness. Brokenness is what you want for me. Oh, so take my heart and mold it. Take my mind, transform. Take my will, conform it to yours, oh Lord. Take my heart and mold it. Take Transform it, take my will, conform it to yours, to yours, oh Lord. Take my heart and mold it. Take my 
mind and transform it. Take my will, conform it to yours, to yours, oh. what I long for holiness is what I know I need holiness holiness is what you want for me it's what you want for me it's what you want what you want for me what you want for me Jesus it's what you want for me it's what you want me God we love you God we praise you God we lift our hands as a sign of worship and adoration for who you are God we thank you for making ways out of no way God we thank you for being Jehovah Jireh we thank you for being Jehovah Rapha God we thank you for being Jehovah Sikinu we thank you for being Jehovah Nisi God we thank you for being the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end the first and the last the roles of Sharon the great and mighty shepherd God the great shepherd of the sheep God we thank you God for sitting high and for looking low God we thank you for this moment God this moment just to recognize that holiness is what you want for all of us God you said be ye holy for I the Lord am holy so God we thank you for this time and this period of worship God we ask God that you would go to the midst of those homes right now to the places God where people are suffering where people are dying where people are needing uh, to be healed from all of their diseases God we thank you God for how you are continuing God to show yourself mighty to and through them God God, we commit this hour and this time back to you. To you, it rightfully belongs in the first place. God, we thank you. We love you. And we praise you. It is in Jesus' name that we do pray with thanksgiving and overwhelming joy. And the people of God said, amen.
this will be my posture laying at your feet just to dwell 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 here forever dearest father closest friend most beautiful most beautiful dearest father Most beautiful, most beautiful, there are no words, there is nothing left, our love seems to you. we come before you thanking you for another day God to tell you thank you you are our dearest father you are our closest friend God with you we can stand against anything Lord with you God our enemies tremble God and at the name of Jesus we are saved God your name is a strong where the righteous run to it and they are saved. So God, today as we call in your name, Jesus, we ask you to save us, deliver us, and be our hope, God, in our time of need. Jesus, we need you. God, we call in you. God, we rely on you. You are our ever-present help. So God, attend to the prayers of your people. You hear our cries, God, and you do not delay. Lord, we need you in this trying time. We call to you as a church, God, as a believing community, God. We're in need of an outpouring of your spirit. So God, let your Holy Spirit rest upon this place, God. Rest in our homes, God. Rest in our cars, God. Rest upon us on our jobs, God. We need you, Jesus. God, we thank you that we can come to you for whatever we're in need of. Lord, you never let us go. You are our peace. You are our portion. God, you are everything that we need. So, Lord, we lift up our heart's cries to you, God. And we tell you thank you. We tell you thank you, God. We tell you thank you, God. Because you are not surprised by what we are facing, God. And you are here. So, Lord, we lift up your name. And we seal this prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Would you pray with me? 
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for being Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Everything starts and ends with you. You have all authority, all power, all dominion. You are a sovereign God. You're omnipresent everywhere, all the time. You're omniscient. You see all things. You know all things. And God, you can do all things. God, now we are coming to you in this moment, acknowledging your greatness. In order to see your greatness, God, we have to see our frailty, our humanity, our weakness. We are nothing without you. It's in you that we live, move, and have our being. God, our trust and our faith is in you. In the midst of adversity, in the midst of strife, God, we have learned to lean and depend on you because you are stable. God, you are consistent. Your word promises us that you would never leave us nor forsake us, and we're standing on your promises on today. This is not the first time that we've had our backs up against the wall. It's not the first time that we've been faced with circumstances beyond our control. And just like the last time, God, you saw us through, you're going to see us through this time. God, you were with Daniel in the lion's den, and you were with Moses at the Red Sea. You were with Abraham on the mountain, and God, you are with us today. God, now we take a moment and we pray for our minds. Our mind is a battlefield. We can put on a face, we can put on a smile, we can put on an air, but in our minds, it's our private conversations that we have with ourselves. Moments of doubt, moments of fear, moments of worry and anxiety. God, we lay all of that at your feet in this moment. Let this mind be in us that is also in Christ Jesus. God, I pray now that you will put the mind of Christ in each of us. Remind us of your promises. Remind us of your word that declares we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. God, remind us that you own the cattle of a thousand hills. The earth is yours and the fullness thereof. Remind us, God, that if you be for us, then who can stand against us? Remind us, oh God, that there's no weapon formed against us that shall ever prosper. We cast down every negative thought. We cast down every negative voice in our minds, every negative voice in our ear. God, we release your word over our lives. We declare that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. The blood of Jesus is covering and protecting. It's protecting our homes, protecting our marriages, protecting our children. God, we declare the blood of Jesus is protecting our loved ones far and near. God, our, the blood of Jesus is protecting our church family. It's covering our pastors in the name of Jesus. It's releasing wisdom and insight. It's a covering our government officials, giving them wisdom on how to navigate us through. God, it's piercing through all the negativity, all the doubt, all the naysaying, God. We're trusting and believing in you in the name of Jesus. It's the name of Jesus that destroys yokes. It's the name of Jesus that saves souls. It's the name of Jesus that redeems lives. We're trusting in the power of the name of Jesus. Break those chains now, God, like never before. And we promise to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. of my life 
so I lift my hands in total praise to you. Would you sing that with me? Hands in 